We on? Oh, we on. We What's up, guys? This is H06 back again with another top deck profile. You guys asked for it. It's been a while. It's been in the production for a minute, but we finally caught him. The Hexawar master himself of New York City, Vaughn the Seer. Today, he's displaying his deck, Hexama Orb. Hex Hexa Bay right there. Yes, sir. Now, good round, Vaughn the Seer. You are notorious in NYC for the, being the best and only Hexawar player. Talk, tell us about it. About Hex. First of all, you tell me uh, I'm the best Hexo player. There's like two of us at best at any given time. Uh, but listen, I, I love Hexo, all right? I love Hexo because she's OTT. I love OTT. Been playing OTT since set one, uh, original uh, Vanguard, Descent of King of Knights. Uh, so when I saw Hexo open overdress, you know, I'm gonna hold up the cards I can see him. When I saw Hex open overdress, uh, I had to pick it up. I had to play. All right, listen, I, I, I don't like long videos and I know y'all don't either, so we're gonna run through this real quick. Listen, we run Hex over right line. All right, a lot of people like running the maples in the right line. Uh, you're wrong. Great one, great one says when you ride, see you kind of blast one draw a card. That's good. It's good for early aggression. All right, people are like, oh, well, don't you want to play something else? So you, so you can Ruth, listen, listen, and I'll talk to you later. All right. Uh, I, I see people say, oh, well, you know, if you run the great one maple, you run something else. Uh, you can block early, stay at the zero damage, and and uh, protect yourself. No, I, I want to kind of blast one. I, I want to get the plus one so I can hit you with whatever I just drew. All right, I'm trying to end the game. I'm not trying to drag out until turn five and six and whatnot. All right, you're going to die. Fast is going to kill you, Office is going to kill you. Snow is super going to kill you. Snow loves turn six. All right. What's our philosophy? There are six zones on the there field. There are six zones. Bushiro gave you six zones. I don't understand why you want to wait two turns to use them. All right. Uh, so you ride the two. From two to three, you check the top three, rearrange them, put them back. Easy, straightforward, but I see a lot of people screwing this up because you like running Drilling Angel, you like running Torturous, you like running all this weird stuff that shuffles the deck. If you're gonna shuffle the deck, why are you running this in the right line, you know what I mean? All right, we're running this, that means we don't shuffle the deck. And then OG Hexa. OG Hexa. Now, I see people run uh, Aquamarine in the right line. Again, like just like the, uh, the, the Maple people, you're wrong too. Freestanding. Without the extra power, it doesn't scare anybody. They hit one D trigger, this turns over. This scares people. This is great. This can push people, if you do this right, this can push people to three, four, maybe even five damage. By the time they do that, you know what I'm saying, you can play Aquamarine, it's to kill them on turn four. You want to win by turn four. You don't want to turn five, turn six, turn seven, when you're going to die. All right. That's what? That's prison mentality right there. No, that's, it's, it's against prison mentality. You can't drag the games out. There, there, there are decks out there that have better late game than you. All right, just because the card says Persona Ride doesn't mean you should be doing all that. You should be doing one time and winning. That's how I feel about that. Are we done? Can I get this right line out of here? All right, y'all know what the right line does. We run four Aquamarines. Uh, believe it or not, I've seen people run less Aquamarines. I don't know what's wrong with these people. All right, this is the win condition. This is the only win condition. There are no other win conditions in the deck. Now, I see people running out. Uh, what is what's up? I see. Uh, who? Sajes. Who's that? Sajes. Sajes? Sajes. Listen, we ran that, we had at two because because we, we had nothing else to run. That's not a win condition either, right? This is the win condition. You, if you don't persona ride, you don't win. Most of the time. Some people let this win. But, uh, y'all know what this, do I have to explain what this does? No. Thank you. You restand with triggers. You hit triggers, you win. All right? The, the whole point is hitting triggers. All right? We run four cutie spirals. Now, some people in the comments might say, "No, oh, you, you you ran two cutie spirals. You said it wasn't that good." I just I was wrong. Nah, our, our, YouTube, I, com our YouTube comment section is, is sensible. Talk about the X mob of this. Oh my God, we're gonna talk about my 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 Hikage fan girl calling me mid. I hope I hope you see this video. I hope you see this video. Mid. All right. Mid. We run four cutie spirals. All right. There's nothing else to soul blast for. You you soul blast for Aquamarine. You soul blast for cutie spiral. It's great. If you see uh, Cutie Spiral later when you Persona Ride, you know, it's like an extra Octa Ray, it's like an extra uh, Delta. She's great. She's good. Both effects are excellent. Perfect for the deck. We're, we're like the only Kita deck left that's running this, so excellent. Wizard. We run four Wizards. This, mm. this is this is not not debatable. Wizard? This is this is your only Soul Charger. No, I'm not running uh, Quadra Cast. She's terrible. All right, you look at top two cards of the deck, you Soul Charger, you're going to be sad for life. We don't run that. All right. Uh, you you can look at the top of the deck, whatever it attacks. That's excellent. All right, this deck is about hitting, trigger, hitting triggers. If you don't hit triggers, you win. Gandiva doesn't hit triggers, he can still kill you. Whenever it doesn't hit triggers, they can still kill you. Every other deck doesn't have this problem except us. If we don't hit triggers, there's no deck to play. So we gotta run this. We gotta run this. It's the only soul charger. He gets power per trigger check. Excellent. Beautiful. Best card in the deck right here. Best card in the deck. Octoray! Octoray MVP, okay. 
All right, you can play it turn three, check top two, reorder however you like, add cause the head, send cause the top, send cause the bottom. Excellent, she's beautiful. She does whatever you need to do for a counter blast. Only problem is she's on turn three, but I can't have it all, you know what I mean? All right, she gets plus five per attack if you persona last. This is excellent. It's excellent because now you can throw this in front of a great one. This is a 33K call. This kills people. This kills people. You restand it with the Aquarian play. She's swinging for 50 by herself. That kills people, all right? You gotta run for it. I know at, at one point I was, I was talking crazy. I said something like two or zero. Uh, I was wrong. I can be wrong. A new character right here, Delta, came out and said, what is this? Set 12, set 12, set 12. Set 12. Set 12. Set 12. All right. Uh, I tried it at four. It wasn't working out. I think two is good enough. Uh, if you persona around, same same skill as uh, Spiral Cutie and Octoray more or less. Uh, if you persona around though, you can stack a crit on top of the deck, so it's like it's like the OG. Uh, it's the OG Hexorb on, on her. So now uh, all you people who are running like extra copies of Hexorb in the deck, you can stop. Yeah, you you're good now. You're good now. Uh, you're okay now. Stop it's safe now. You're and, right. I, and I say that in love. All right. I want, I want everyone, I want the Hexo community, all four of us, they, 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 to need a, they need an excuse to run Tantris, bro. That's bad. Why are you shuffling the deck? Why are you searching? Don't do that. Don't, don't shuffle. If the card says shuffle the deck, we don't run it. All right, that's, that's the easiest thing to do in Hexo when you're building. A lot of y'all don't run grade ones, period. And I think that's very strange, because I'm like, if you don't run grade ones at all, how are you going to boost your Octorays? How are you going to boost anyone? What does what your turn one look like? It's terrible. All right. Now, I love... Replenishment Angel. Uh, on reveal, I said uh, she might have been bad, she might have been mid. I'm gonna steal uh, Hikage's word. I'm gonna steal mid. I, uh, I was wrong. All right, this is great. Uh, you need to check triggers to win the game. As I've said before, she helps you check triggers. You weren't really doing anything with these counter blasts anyway. You need everybody to counter blast, first of all, because if you read out uh, Hexor, both Hexors, they don't burn counter blasts, so you need the deck to do it for you. And there's nowhere to search. That means you need as many counter blasts as possible just to maintain that resource consistency. You know what I mean? Uh, so, anyway, you're, you're boosting. You can reorder triggers to the top or bottom. Sometimes uh, when I'm boosting my wizard, and I already know the top card is a trigger, I can use punishment, switch the top card with the next card, then use wizard to soul charge that second card. So I still get the soul. I don't have to miss out on the wizard's effect. Uh, and it's just a good great one. You know, you can slap it down early, hit your opponent a couple times. Sometimes the opponent picks up, reason it, gets scared, and kills it anyway. Bad part, uh, bad move on their part, but great. You need great ones. You need good great ones. Now, aren't too many of those appear. A lot of y'all hate this card. Soldier Boy. My boy Soldier Boy. You. Soldier. All right. Uh, there aren't many people who agree with me when I say this card is great. Uh, pretty much. Uh, they has the Dragon Tree effect. You know that. We, we're not a Dragon Tree. Now. Wait, we don't care about the Dragon Tree. We don't, show, we don't care about the Dragon Tree part. The second part, all right, you play a unit from him, you count us one draw card. It's great, all right? It works turn two. It works turn three. This is important. So, you know, if you're getting crit, you're getting Molly Wolf on, you need early game. Uh, draw power to stay in the game, you know, so you can, I like dropping a wizard in front of him. If I don't have wizard, you know, you don't have to feel bad about dropping that. You don't have to feel bad about dropping that, you know, plus one is a plus one. It's better than dying. It's better than dying on turn three and then, like, having this cousin. Huh? No, I will not just die. We, we're going to try. We're going to try. All right, so that's why, and then, again, like, replenishment agent, you can slap him down early. Uh, I ask any of these guys around here, my turn one usually looks something like, uh, I plop this down, I plop one of these, I plop one of these, and I just start swinging. Six zones. I start swinging. There, start swinging. there, there are what? Six zones. There are six zones. There are six zones. There are six zones. Hey. What's up? What's up, snow player? Hey, what you want? Fine for me to put in prison. That's fine. I'll keep putting them in a prison. All right, we're not afraid of that no more. Listen, we have soul charge. We can, we can add free our dudes. Okay, soul charge your triggers. Soul charge my triggers. Why would I do that? No. Because you do that. No, select so we have select soul charge now. All right, moving on. Final for one. Four PGs. You know, you know what PGs do. Now teach them about Elementaria. Teach them about Elementaria. I'm not going to talk about Elementaria. Now teach them, teach them. That's teach a whole nother video. No, 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 tell them right now. Tell them all right, right now. all right. So you guys really love Elementaria. You're talking about it gets around guard districts. It gets around, it stops the Chrono Jets. It stops the Messiahs. But my thing is, uh, whenever I check, and I do like to check uh, a lot of tournament results, J JP and English, uh, it's still winning. You know what I mean? Uh, Chrono Jet's still winning. Masai's still doing reasonably well. Uh, who are you stopping? The grade four decks? Like, it, it doesn't make any sense to me to, to run Elementar and then still have those decks consistently top. That tells me the deck, the, the card isn't consistent, the card's not good enough. And what's worse is that not only is Chrono Jet still beating you, but now by running Elementaria, you're you're hurting yourself against decks, against everything else. I'd rather have the free PG effect. 
that I find that far more useful than playing Elementar and hoping I run into a Chrono Jet and, and it mildly inconveniences him for that turn. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, oh, you're not going to stop Scar, she stops Flag Bird. When the last time you seen a Flag Bird? <laughs> All right, thank you. But Snow has two guard restraints. I don't even know what they are, and I should tell you something. <laughs> Triggers is easy. Triggers, I'm surprised we got here so quickly. All right, listen, y'all run, we run eight crit. I don't understand this. Now, now, now I'm gonna get loud. We run eight crit. Rumor in, some of y'all, maybe maybe y'all went around and, and when, when D first started and they limited crits to eight. They limited all triggers to eight, but we really knew what this was. They limited crits to eight, all right? I don't understand why uh, they limit something and then you feel the need to limit it further. Crits win games. They help you win the game fast. I see people run, you know, forefront or draw triggers or whatnot. And it doesn't make any sense to me at all. Uh, you, you, we, especially prior to uh, Aquamarine, we need, we need crits to win the game. We're not that good. We're not like, what is, what is your problem, Snowplay? Crit win games. All right, we're, we're not like, uh, you know, some of these other weird win conditions like, like Flagberg or something that can just run like eight draws because he's going to just pummel you to death anyway, right? We need crits. You run eight crits. This is not, this is not debatable. All right, we run eight crits. We're running the three fronts. You don't want to run draw triggers because the last thing you want to do is draw a trigger into a trigger. You only got 16 chances for this deck to work. All right, you don't want to draw into a trigger and then ruin that. And you know, it's, it's 20k shield. Uh, Bastion is back, so you need these. All right, you're going to die. Uh, heal trigger, same thing. Now, I see crazy people like the guy holding this camera who's running less than uh, heal, less than four heal triggers. Nah, 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 listen, nah, listen. I'm on some copium. I'm on, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Awesome. We'll, we'll awesome. talk about it. Awesome, awesome foolishness. I believe, I believe in the you know I believe yours truly, owner of Heal on Six, believes in three PGs and three heals in your main deck. Eli, my, my thing is, if R&D said, hey, you're only allowed to run X amount of a certain thing, maybe you should max that out. There's a reason why they told you that. If they said I could run eight heals, guess how many heals I'm running, Poppy? I'm running eight. I'm bringing eight but to every local. What do you say? OT, OT's not a heal. No, we'll, we'll talk about OT in a second. If, if they said you could run more than one OT, boys, how many OTs we running? If I said you could run four OTs, how many OTs you gonna run? Oh, we play four. You playing four? four. So, so I don't know. I don't understand why when it comes to other triggers, we want to get different. So, all right, we run eight crits. You run four heals. It's this is easy. This is the easiest part of the deck, especially hex. Because we have to. I wish I could run three more crits, but but Bushi Road and you guys. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you? All right, fine. Let's talk about the OT. Let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about your fifth heal and ninth crit. All the Keter players already know what I'm talking about. Because the Keter OT is really bad. The Keter OT is really bad. Yeah, it's terrible. Bash All right. Bash you don't even run the Bash in the Court anymore because Bash in the Court does that for free. Even Bash in the Court's running the blue OT. Or at least the red one. Oh, like, so, oh, either or, either or. Whatever, whatever you do, we're not running Keter OT anymore, especially in the Hexo. It was bad before, it's, bad, it's, it's worse now. We run ninth crit. This nine crit, crit, four heal. Nine crit, five heal. Right. At, at a certain point, I forgot that there was a secondary effect. I was just so happy to have the crit. Yeah. <laughs> over over the key to roti. All right, that's the deck. There you go. All right. Uh, anybody else out there? Uh, if you want to send me some chip balls. No, 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 no,
Orpus is also pretty good, but I feel like he's, he still seems kind of bricky. Uh, but again, you know, it's, it's all about their power output. Their power is crazy. Again, this guy was hitting me for 70s earlier. All right, Vaughn, thank you so much for showing up. Uh, hopefully, we get to see more footage of you winning in tournaments. We're going to have to go travel a little more, catch you at your locals as well, back in the Bronx. Uh, and Vaughn, what channel are we on? We're on LR6, baby. Yes, sir.